Hi guys, welcome back to Wong Chemistry channel. For this video, it's the part 2 video of your 5.2 liquids. And it's a very short, simple video because we only discuss two things. The vaporization and the condensation of a liquid. Okay, so let's start off with vaporization. What is actually vaporization? Vaporization is when your liquid change to gas. Everybody knows that, okay? But what are we going to discuss today is not only this. We are going to look at how from the liquid we can change into gas. So let's see. Everything started because you are having energy. So when you are heated them up, you supply energy. Okay? So when you supply energy, the molecule in the liquid or the molecule in the water will then absorb the heat. When they absorb the heat, what happened? to the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy will actually increase and some liquid over here, only some liquid will have a higher kinetic energy than the others. Of course, the one that's sitting close to your fire or the one that's sitting close to your energy supply will be having a higher kinetic energy. And what happens when they have a high kinetic energy? When the kinetic energy is equal or higher than the intermolecular force of attraction, we know that between the particles, they are intermolecular force of attraction. But if the kinetic energy of that molecule is higher or equal to the intermolecular force of attraction, then that water molecule or the liquid molecule will escape from the liquid and become vapor. And that is how vaporization happened. Everything started because of a energy supply. When the energy provided, the molecule will absorb the energy. When the molecule absorbed the energy, the kinetic energy of the molecule increased. Up to a moment, the kinetic energy is higher than the intermolecular forces or even equal to the intermolecular forces. It will able to overcome this attraction forces. When they overcome the attraction forces, what happened? They will then escape to become your gas or your vapor. So your gas or your vapor is produced because of the kinetic energy is equal or more than your intermolecular force of attraction. Okay? That is vaporization and that is how your liquid changing to gas. Simple. So next, let's look at condensation. So we know that condensation is your gas changing to liquid. The same thing. Why the gas will change to liquid? That is the question. For the condensation to happen, you must always have a closed system. So make sure your system right now is closed. It's a closed container or it's a closed system. If not, we will never have condensation. Okay? So make sure you have a closed system for the condensation process to happen. This is all the vapor that you produce during your vaporization. So this is all the gas or the vapor that you produce just now. And the gas and the vapor were not sitting there quietly. The gas and the vapor molecule will move continuously in a random motion as we all know. We know that how gas behave, gas will move non-stop in a random motion. And when they move non-stop in a random motion, you will then have one thing happen, collision. Alright, you will then collide with the other molecule or the wall of the container. So what happened during the collision? When the collision happened, the vapor molecule will lose its kinetic energy. In the other words, the vapor molecule over here after a few collision, the kinetic energy of the vapor or the gas molecule will decrease. When the kinetic energy of the vapor and the gas decrease, there will be one moment when your gas or the vapor collide with the surface of the water. When they collide with the surface of the water or the liquid, and the kinetic energy of this vapor molecule is right now lower. So when the kinetic energy is lower and they collide with the surface of the liquid, the kinetic energy is not strong enough to overcome the intermolecular forces 
in the liquid. So what is mean by not strong enough to overcome the intermolecular forces in the liquid? So this is your liquid. You know that in your liquid, you're having molecule. So between the molecule, you're having your force of attraction. Okay. And imagine this vapor just now, your gas molecule or your vapor molecule that already loses its kinetic energy due to collision suddenly collide with the surface of your liquid. What happened when they collide with the surface of the liquid? The liquid molecule that right now located in the liquid will then attract the vapor. And the vapor molecule that has a weak kinetic energy right now will then bind into the liquid. And then that is how your gas changing to your liquid in your condensation. So your gas or your vapor over here will become your liquid is because they will move continuously in a random motion and collide with other molecule or the wall of container. And during the collision, the kinetic energy decreases. So when the kinetic energy decreases until a moment when the vapor decided to collide with the surface of the liquid, the strong intermolecular forces in the liquid will then pull the vapor and sit back and bind back to the liquid. And that is how your gas change into liquid. See that? Okay. So both of the process of condensation and vaporization is talking about intermolecular forces and also kinetic energy. So that is the factor or that is how we explain the process of your vaporization and condensation. All right. And for your information, your vaporization and condensation both will happen at the same time. Okay. So you can see that some of my water molecule escape to become gas and then some of them is coming in to become the liquid. So if you ask me, will the vaporization process happen first and then condensation? No. Both of the process actually happen at the same time. But at the beginning, the rate of the vaporization must be higher. You must produce gas first or you must produce vapor first before you have gas to be condensed. So what I'm trying to tell you over here, it doesn't happen at two phase. It doesn't happen from all the liquid to become gas, then only all the gas to become liquid. No, you will have liquid to become gas. You will have gas become liquid at the same time. All right. At the very beginning, when you just started to heat your liquid, we will have the rate of vaporization is higher. Okay. And eventually, the rate of the vaporization will be equal to the rate of the condensation, which means the amount of the liquid to become gas and the amount of gas to become liquid will be equal to each other. Okay. The rate will be equal to each other. And at this moment, the volume of the liquid will not change. And a kind reminder, this thing must happen in a closed system or we can call it as a closed container, okay? Your condensation will not be accurate and your condensation will basically not happen if your system is not a closed system, okay? You must trap all your vapor, then only you will have condensation, okay? So make sure your condensation happen in a closed system and that's it about vaporization and condensation bear that in mind you need to be able to explain the process of vaporization and condensation by using as simple as kinetic energy and also intermolecular force of attraction okay if you have any question regarding vaporization and condensation drop it in the comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. TunePocket.com